Alright everybody, we are back with some more Rome Total War and it's the Abba Bacon Dita mod and we are playing as the Britons those people from the British Isles and after I finish recording this episode I'm going to go and play some Armenians in Total War Rome Remastered so if you want to see somebody fighting over on this side of the map you can go and watch that series and that's in the um, RTR Imperium Serectum mod, which is an awesome mod, by the way. Oh yes, we need to click on that young lady's head and activate her. She needs activation. Alright. Um, I haven't recorded all this for about two weeks now. So, uh, we need 15 regions, we've got 18, but we still need to take out the Gauls. Um, but we're at war with the Romans, aren't we? In fact, we were doing so well against the Romans, and I thought we might actually carry on against them and sack Rome. Um, because they conquered my country, didn't they? Or well, they conquered the lands that would become my country. Now, we couldn't build a fort there, could we? Uh, I tried to build it with this chap, but couldn't get it. Uh, we've still got a vast amount of money. Now they have besieged Batavium, and they might capture it. Um, do I have? No, that's um, the Gauls. Yes, yes, that actually works out well for us um, if they kill off each other. Um, I really would like to put in a, a fort there. This watchtower is blocking us from putting in a fort there. Now I figured that we could get a fort in right there, but it doesn't look like we could. And I don't think you can come along the coast in this. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Now we have been having some massive battles over here at the end, haven't we? Killing a lot of Roman generals. Um, got about half stacked there. Right. I mean, capturing this settlement would be useful when we do go to war with the Gauls. Right. Looks like we're recruiting and constructing. So we'll just end the turn. Yeah. Oh no. That often happens. Um, this is a thing in Rome, Total War and Medieval 2. AI factions also have their victory objectives. And they will quite often get to them. So you can't sit back and turtle up. That's not the way to win. You've got to be aggressive. Yes, we actually allied to them a few episodes back. Um, they've basically taken over all of modern day Greece and are pushing up into the Balkans and they still have Syracuse. Right. That's fine. Is that the correct price? It is. So I might as well just put that one in ahead as we have the money. Money. That's our capital. We haven't moved our capital, have we? Right. We could just let it grow, couldn't we? I guess we were getting units out of there. We've got 3% growth, so it's pretty high in any case. General, get in there. And there's another general. So we've got a good amount of generals, uh, probably because we built a lot of the temples that give the growth bonus, which is quite useful. Can we get those over here? We can, but we've been getting the um, Batavians because they have javelins and are very effective. So I think we'll just keep getting some light cavalry up there. That pretty much a match for the Roman equites, um, mostly, mostly. What's your population like? Uh, staying above 6,000. Somebody else had a good population as well. Um, that's a walker. And we've got more of those over there. You can stay in there as a garrison unit. Right. So I'm going to send him immediately over there. I think it's important to get him over there. Where did those ones come from? Did we put the feet down there? And they got pushed back. Kind of looks like it. 
You can actually get to that. It looked like you could have got to that bridge. Right. You've got good growth, but I think because you're on the front lines, I was actually recruiting. Now, we've used both of those, and I think it was the World Warriors that actually proved better. 10, 3, and 10. Now, these have better stats, but they've actually proven not quite as good in battle. So, you've got a fort there with one unit. Fuel population like uh, still growing. Alright. You coming down. Nobody else has gone to war with us. Which is good. We get a decent population. You're about to grow past that 6,000 level. Now there's the Dacians. We're allied to those. The Romans did take Batavium. Alright. Now, a fort can hold for three turns. And they're proceeding with three units, however. However, we've already got three cavalry there. What I say we do, let's go and put some pressure on the Romans. They've only got a palisade. And we can get some units from over there. Ah. We can just merge up those ones. And those will be in our front line because we don't care about them getting killed. Yeah, we've got plenty of cavalry. Yeah. Missile, 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 missile. I think they might have javelins, maybe. Right, they're going to have to divert forces over there. Yeah, you don't have a great population, but we are recruiting out of there. Hmm. That's interesting. In the other settlement, those were over there, and they were over there. But we're actually getting a discount on them over here, aren't we? Now, Here's my diplomat. I wonder if they want peace, because we are holding them back and beating them on the actual field. Give me a region. They actually have a, quite a few regions. Therme, Therme. Where was Therme? Um, I know Gagovia is that one, isn't it? Croton is at the bottom there. And Tarentum is over there. Right, can I? Those are all in Italy. Fermi. I'm trying to remember where Fermi was. Hmm. Right, so they don't have. Fermi is in Sicily, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so we don't want that one. Give me Genoa, which is the one I'm besieging. See if I go for it. Nope, oh, they went for it. Alright. And we actually got those as garrisons. Yeah, because we don't need that, so they killed off the Gauls who were there. And we've got a strong force here now. That will stop them from coming up there. Really wish we could have gotten that other fort though. Yeah, that actually works out very well for us. Isn't it? So we can now hopefully divert forces against the Gauls. Uh, it'd be nice to have another spy. What's my agents situation? Lists agents. Okay, I only have one spy and one diplomat. Now he was my starting diplomat. He should be pretty darn old by now. Right. Now I'm going to leave him. Where am I? I'm going to leave them there. Why am I going to formally break our alliance with Gauls? Um, let's bring them over if we can. See if we can get an alliance with the Iberians. Now, I do expect the Romans to attack us again, but like I said, we've got very strong forces over here. 
so we're not too worried about that. And then we can divert these troops that we're getting over here. Because it looks like that's a Gallic settlement, but they would have to go past Iberians, Romans, Barbarians, and myself be of any use up here. So that's probably Gallic, Gallic, it's two, three, four, five. And that looks like they've got a lot of troops in there. So that should be a, our main target. We don't know if they've got any field armies out there. That's the question. Where are, are their troops? Ooh, looks like a full stack there. Right, so let's get this one done. Now we could get some more military uh, units in there, but as we're basically only recruiting Batavians, we don't really need it. What would be useful is having a blacksmith to give them better weapons. Right, so that's the one that gives the growth, isn't it? Because it gets a health bonus, so that's I think about 1%. Uh, in fact, we can find out, can't we? Right, growth from buildings, which is I think that one. If we put this in, no, it'll be an extra half percent. Health, one and a half. Well, it went up from that. So, I mean, they're about to pass 6,000 in any case. But it only takes two turns. In fact, we can do that just for a turn. They'll still grow. Right, got some roads, and that helps. Good, good, good. In fact, we'll cancel that one. And look, Genoa. So we do there. Oh, it's got a tiny population. I mean, we could disband those mercenaries in there. Some people are against doing that kind of thing. Um, yeah, we're in a good position to strike, but we need to find out where all their forces are. Um, spies, they're four thousand. I'm getting over there. I'll get one up there. Or even up there. Can I get one down here? I can. I'll cancel that instead and spend 4,000 on a spy. And somebody, please remind me before I start the next campaign to edit that out. Or well, edit it down, certainly. Ooh, we actually had a stack on there. Oh, there was another Octavianus. We killed a whole bunch of. Octavianus is over there and in northern Italy. And that's a Roman spy. So as of the time of recording this, which is right now, um, the channel has 516 subscribers. Pretty impressive for myself. I'm excited about it. You do that. You await my command. I command you. Right. You're moving up there. The retraining. Right. That's actually Roman territory, so I mean, we can come up here and attack them, but we do need more troops, uh, I think. No, nothing special up there. Alright, we've only got one unit. Let's get some more. Mm. Right, they should have grown. Let's just make them happy again. Oh no, it's because we recruited the unit. Oh, I forgot, because in Rome Remastered, no matter what. Um, size units you have, it's all balanced out to 40 men deducted from the population but in the original um, 
it's based upon the actual size of the unit, isn't it? So we actually will need to lower that. But that's still fine. That's still fine. We need to build up an army over here. And we've got lots of cavalry. And a lot of cavalry. We should also get some archers. Who else has a 6,000 if anybody? This one. Yeah, we can't get too much over there. Um, actually, actually, let's change that over so we can get some missile units from there. And your population, you are going to grow soon. Soon. Keep them on low. Tax. That should also give what, half a percent? No. I think at a high level might give some population growth. Now there's my spine. Right. And we could have built a watchtower, couldn't we? That would have helped. Right. Does any of that affect me? Uh, it would be nice if somebody went to war with the um, Greeks. But it doesn't look like Epirus and Macedon can do much. Maybe the Dacians or the Romans. No, we don't really need to build anything there. This one's going to grow fairly soon. And we don't need to build anything there. Keep that one growing. Right. So we need at least a couple of armies. Three would be better. I think I'm going to take any of the mercenaries that we have. Right, let's merge those up because we can't retrain these ones down here, can we? Now those were mercenaries. And those are mercenaries. Not able to move. Let's try again and see if we can put it in there. Alright, there it is. Also need to change that. That shells are expensive compared to what forts cost. Right. As that has such a low population, not too worried if we lose it. Ooh, where did I get that spy? There it is, and seventy-five percent chance. But considering what we had to pay for them, I don't like to risk losing them. Alright, so about half stack, half stack, maybe a quarter to a third. Yeah, only four units. That's where the bulk of their forces are. But if we're quick, we can take out these settlements. Ooh, whole stack, or most of the stack, including chariots and rebels. Ooh, that's a lot of rebels. Alright. Well, at least we're aware of them. And um, my diplomat is moving over. They're over there. Now, if the Romans just leave us alone, we can take out the um, Gauls and get victory. Oh, did he just die? Somebody died. Somebody just died. Oh, family member. In that settlement. Nope. In the. Uh, no, it wasn't Mini Lanham. Did he just come of age? Yes, he did. What's his name? Kador. There he is. Alright, well, they are 
moving up troops. They might be just wanting to uh, reinforce battalion. Now, they can actually bypass it, but you have to take an extra turn or two to do that. A hundred percent chance of opening the gates or getting in. And that one would be good because then we could take that. Let's move those because we can't retrain really them down here. We could also put in a fort right there, couldn't we? In case we have any setbacks. Is there another place where they can board? Not around there, over here. There's no bridge there yet. Right, what do we have in there? Arches. Right, build them up. Build up our army. Orders. Orders. We're going to lead that force. General. Move. Right, I'm going to leave him in there. Put these ones out. No more moves. Have you expanded? You have now. Ooh, that would actually just put them in, but you can actually cheat it by getting that one in first. But, yeah, we'll hold off. What's your strength? 241. 241. And we're going to let you grow, won't we? Alright, let's get some missile units. Got lots of cavalry. Oh yeah, those are about to grow. So we've got all three of our agents moving over. There's our diplomat, there's Spy 1, and there's Spy 2. And he's got a 93% chance of getting in. It's probably worth it. And yeah, he did get in. And they've got a large population, but nobody garrisoning them. And we also have a small fleet, but uh, there's a land bridge, an invisible land bridge across there. So we won't need ships for transportation. Yeah. Yes. I will talk to them. I bet they go for it. Yeah. Let's see how big the Iberians are getting. Accepted. Um, yeah, they've taken a lot of territory. Alright, cancel the alliance. Let's do that formally. Alright. Okay, that helps us, although it doesn't look like the, the Thracians are very big. Got some territory. And boost that again. We'll let that one finish, I think. We'll be training. Let's get that done.
Uh, go for it. Got him. That's our faction leader, Nico. Now it's time to strike. Time to strike. Yes. Ah, he didn't open the gate. Blast. Uh, have we lost any alliances by doing that? No, Gaul's lost. Yeah. People are sticking with us over the Gauls. Right, we've got the blacksmith and let's get a weaponsmith. As we're recruiting from there. So that's good. People think we're a safer bet. General. Keep moving. General. Forward. Keep moving. General. Forward. Out of moves. General. Keep moving. Move out. No more moves. We can increase that. That should be enough for retrenchment. I guess we should leave somebody behind. Maybe the druids. Well, we haven't seen them in battle yet, have we? They've only got a stockade there. Right. They're going to have to send some troops to try and save somebody. Otherwise, we're going to take them out. They're going to lose a third of their territory in the next episode. Which is good. Because it means we're getting close to victory. Now watch the Romans attack us. <laughs>